Hillary Clinton. It's the last of the candidates for tonight. Uh, I'm getting a little burned out, but I still have a couple more left to do tonight. Donations include Big Pharma, uh, Big Medicine. Uh, her party and her constituency, she's another lip service queen. She's a pathological liar to the people. I'm sure there's others that she tells the truth to. It's just not us, any American. And if you're trying to tell yourself something else, you're wrong. That's all there is to it. You're wrong. Uh, she works with the Council on Foreign Relations, which is a clear violation of law-abiding involvement without Congress approval. Does she have her Congress or congressional approval to be on this board? No, she speaks at the CFR. She's been seen at the Bilderbergers, his wife Bill Clinton, which means more Clintonomics, more Clinton. It's Clinton Centennial. I liked Bill because he was sort of a player. He was sort of a player when a time when players were just cool. Um, I mean, he's, she's a member of um, the World Trade Organization. Come on. These are all groups. Uh, you know, I I wanted to find statesmen. I mean, she sounds like all the... She belongs to all the same groups as everyone else that's leading the polls. But we're going to stick with her. Uh, I'm not going to lose my mind over her. Uh, believing this rhetoric again, wow. The, you know, they just keep saying the same thing. You listen to them, and then they sort of shift. Hillary becomes sort of conservative, and then suddenly Barack becomes really liberal, and then then she becomes conservative again. You know, the Democrats, Republicans, uh, you know. Lip service, lip service, lip service, really. You know, that's it. You know, corporate money, special interests. She's no different than the rest of them. The same lobbyists who, who lobby for some, lobby for all. And, and they're making huge money, but they're not lobbying for the people. Otherwise, you know, there wouldn't be drugs or drugs in your water and chemicals in your air. Uh, this is what these people vote for. They don't vote for anything that keeps you safe. They, you know, this, this none of this is going to change if she's elected. It's just going to be more of the same thing. You know, the logic of, more, of war for more peace is ridiculous. I find that people t tend to be misguided in their logic because they listen to these, these crappy, crappy news shows who, who try to rationalize uh, why we're doing things, and, and it's just simply not true. You know, use your own mind. Think it through yourself. How is being in war going to keep us peaceful? How is being in war keeping us peaceful? You know, we're not going to change there. All we want to do is make sure we've established that the oil is secure. Once we've done that, we're poisoning their water. We've used irradiated plutonium all over. Uh, America is sick. All of Europe's becoming sick. Uh, everywhere we've touched down or landed or shot a bullet is becoming sick. You know, she lied about getting us out of Iraq, and I'm sort of off the notes. Uh, I'm not going to vote for her. There's no way I'd vote for Hillary Clinton. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's another non-constitutionalist. They just don't believe in it. They just absolutely do not want you to believe that the Constitution exists, any of them. And this is all I'm going to say about Hillary Clinton. But Clinton, not. Not, 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 not. She's a crook, a shyster, and a liar. She accepts huge money from Big Pharma. She accepts huge money from Big Chemical, from Big War Machine. They line her pockets. They make her very wealthy. She creates legislation. We'll get into that later. See, America, don't vote for this woman. Don't vote for any of them. Don't vote for any of them. Let's talk about Ralph Nader, my next presidential. I'm not done studying up on him. I don't believe everything I have to say or everything I hear. Uh, and neither should you. Research it yourself. Look who her donators are. Look who her forms are. I don't care about uh, who she's having lunch with. I don't care about what's going on in her life. I think she's just another small, petty person who uh, just wants to be a ruler. And America, we can't vote for these people. Two sides of the same coin. It's still the same coin. It is still the same coin. It's one coin with two sides. One coin. Skull and Bones. Bilderbergers. Council on Foreign Relations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund. Another Rothschild. America, we got to stop these people. They're tearing our country apart, and they're making you the victim. They're making me the victim. And I'm getting a little upset.
100%. So let's change the marker. See? 